Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. And in this video, I'm going to be customizing this wee Hot Wheels 64 Chevy Chevelle SS. Hot Wheels have been making this car since 2012. And of it, they say this was Chevy's entry into the muscle car ring and with a 396 V8 and four barrel carb with 105 one compression, it can hold its own against any contender. So there you go. And I'm going to be giving it a post apocalyptic style makeover and 3D printing a container for it to go in. So I'll start out drilling out the two posts that are holding it together. Alright, there we go. Now I can pop the base off. Then there's the interior and windscreen there. And the interior section's got the front bumper and grille and the engine there. And then the casting. I'll use some paint stripper to strip the paint off of the casting. Just to zoom in there, you can see it bubbling the paint up. Then I can wash it off with some water and then clean it up further with the wire brush on my Dremel. Right, so here it is looking nice and clean and shiny. Next thing I'm going to do is cut the bonnet out. So I've got the interior section here. We're going to want the bumper and the grill there, but not the engine. So I'll just chop that out. There we go. Now I've just got the bumper and the grill. And they can fit in there like that. But I'll just use some hot water and caustic soda to remove the chrome off of those. And now I can use a couple of dabs of super glue and glue the grill in. Okay, so next I'm going to glue on a couple of fuel tanks. Made those with my 3D resin printer. So again, I've just used a dab of super glue. And here's a bull bar, also printed. This can go on the front there. You can see the bumper's not quite straight. So I'll just use my file to flatten that off. You can see the bumper's sitting nice and flat now. I'll glue that on there. Next I've got some little spikes with skulls on them. So I'm going to stick a couple of these onto the bumper. 
Also got a small tank here. I've cut out a little piece of wire and I'll just put a dab of super glue on the end of that. And then the tank's got a little hole in it as well. So just glue the piece of wire in there. And then that was glued on up the front and I've bent the piece of wire around right now for some paint. So I start out with some black primer. Next I hit the whole thing with silver. I mask off the tanks and the bull bar. And then I hit the whole thing with brown. So I gave it a base of orange brown and then a couple of darker browns sort of spottily over the top. I'm going to paint my Chevelle this sort of aquary green. So I'll just mix up some of that with some thinner. And then I've also got just a couple of drops of white there. And I'm going to mix that up with some thinner as well. Quite a bit of thinner so that it's really thin and watery. And so to paint the car, first of all I hit it with the aqua green. And then once that's on, I quickly rinse out the green paint from my airbrush and fill it up with the really watered down white. And I fire a light layer of that over the top of the wet aqua green paint. And that gives me a nice faded sort of color. So next I'm going to take some water and some 1200 grit emery paper. I'm going to start sanding back that top layer of green paint to expose the rust underneath. So next I detailed the tanks there. Now I'm going to put a black wash over those and also in the panel lines. Next I'm going to take some orange rust and burnt red and German red brown and apply a little bit of those with a sponge 
here and there just to add some extra rust. And to finish it off, I just detail the little skulls there. Moving on to the chassis. So I'm going to cut the axles and take the wheels out. I'll be replacing those. And to paint it, I hit it with some silver, then applied a black wash. And then over that, I've got some Vallejo rust texture. I'll just airbrush over a light layer. Here's the interior that I chopped off the engine and the grill from. Gave us a base coat of brown on the interior and silver on the rear. Detail the interior there just with some washes to make it look all grubby and I've detailed the rear and I'm just going to finish that with a little bit more of the rust and my piece of sponge Next, I've got a Wii motor I've made on my 3D printer. So this is a Turbo V8. To detail this, I hit it with a black primer. And then I just detailed it by hand with a paintbrush. And some more stuff from my resin printer. Here are some wheels. To paint these, I started out with a base coat of black. Then I painted the rims in silver and I'll hit those with a black wash. And then to finish them off, you can see I've got a wee brush here that I've cut the end of the bristles off. And I'll just use that to apply a little bit of rust onto the rims. And for the windscreen, I'm just using some dusty brown paint. Just applying that lightly over the windscreens and you can just rub it off with a q-tip or a brush where you need. Right so that's all our postapoing done. Here are all the parts ready to go back together. So I cut out a couple of pieces of steel rod for the axles and I've glued the wheels on. See the axles still spin okay though. Now I'll just put the McGovern's back into the casting. There's the windscreen and the interior. 
and then I can plonk that back onto the base and the engine just drop in there like that I'll use a little dab of super glue to hold it in place Okay, so we'll put the car aside and move on to our container. So I printed this out on my filament printer. I got all of these designs from Thingiverse. So you can see the lid slides off there. So we'll have to give it a nice distressed paint job. Start out with a couple of good thick layers of silver rattle can. Next, I gave it the rusty undercoat with some orange brown and some darker brown over the top. Here, I've got some salt and some water. Gonna brush the water over it here and there, not being too particular. And then I'll sprinkle on some of the salt and then it'll stick on there. Oops, meant to go into the water, not the salt. Here I've got some blue paint and some more of my watered down white paint and I'm going to paint all over in the same method as I did for the Chevelle laying the blue down first and then they thinned down white over the top of that and you can see all the salt under the paint there so I took it out and ran it under a hot tap for a little while and that washes all the salt away Leaves me a nice chipped looking paint job exposing the rust underneath. Next I use the sponge to apply some more rust. For the doors, I went over the hinges and the latches there with some dark rust wash. And then I went over that with a bit of water afterwards and sort of thinned it out a bit and spread it round. And just for a last touch, I've got some rust pigment powder. I'm 
just going to rub that in here and there, varying sort of thicknesses. That's just going to give a bit more rust appearance to it. And I'll fix that powder with a really thin coat of matte clear. And here it is once the clear is dried. Right, so that's all the hard work done. I'll just take a quick look back at what we started with. Here's our 64 Chevy Chevelle. It's actually looking pretty cool. Such a bad paint job. And it's not to be for our little Chevelle, it's going to be travelling into some sort of post-apocalyptic future. And here it is, our finished custom post-apocalyptic Chevy Chevelle. Rusted up with a meaty bull bar on the front there, some big tanks stacked up on the back. And a massive big V8 sticking out of the bonnet. And it's also got those rugged looking new wheels on it. And a spare on the back. And of course it's got its container that it will fit snugly into. You can see that in a little bit. So what do you think? Would you ride this off into the post-apocalyptic wasteland? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thanks heaps to my Patreons for helping out. Check the link below if you want to as well. There's also a link down there where you can get some cheap super glue. And a link to my other channel. Thanks heaps to you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Remember to give it a like and subscribe and click the bell if you want to see more similar content in the future. And I'll catch you in the next one.